morning. Good morning. Oh, bon, no, bonjour. 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 What's the itinerary today, Mrs. Slaw? Last night we stayed at uh, Amboise on the municipal campsite and a little island in the middle of the Loire. Um, and just a, a very short walk away from our pitch, there were superb views of the chateau, Chateau d'Amboise. Uh, it was a, a, a nice site, about 25 euros, I think it was, for the night. Um, we thought it might be noisy because we we're on the island, so there were roads either side um, over the water, and there were some boy races around early on. But uh, it settled down, and it was it was a nice night. So we're heading further south. Today is day three of our road trip from West Yorkshire down to Port Grimo on the Bay of Saint Tropez. And today we're heading further south. We've got an idea of where we might want to stay today. Um, we're going to do a bit of payage. This, that's the paid motorway. Um, and we're hoping to get down to a place called Mio, which is famous for the Viaduct de Mio. Um, so stick around with us and enjoy our adventures and our drive through France today. Abbey, Abbey, what? Oh. On Eva. On Eva. Stuff. Gotta go around the back. Oh dear. Oh dear, stop it. You got the receipt? You don't need a receipt. Yeah. Oh, I had the tummy leaning over the window. <laughs> <laughs> discussion at 114 kilometres an hour down the payage. A71 about... towards Clermont Ferrand. Thank you Mrs. So. We're just discussing the stickers that you've now got to have on trucks. Um, the new, new stickers, it's the first year that we've seen them and we did read up a bit about them before we came out and we are 99% sure that we don't need one and we've only seen one motorhome with one on. One English motorhome yep. with stickers on it. And right. these stickers are the yellow and black Angles Boats stickers. And, and red, I think. They're a bit of red on them. Yeah. yeah. Angles Boats. And it looks like you've got to have them on the doors, the cab doors, the sides, and on the rear and as the well. the rear, yeah. And, and on the back. We've seen loads of wagons with them on. So, yeah, they've, I've just once passed now and it, a tanker and it had, it had them on, I don't know, it had one on the front, but it had one on the door, then it had one on the tanker behind the truck, tractor unit, and then one on the back. So, we were just discussing, well, why does it need all them stickers on? How are you going to read them at the side when you're flying, overtaking them or whatever? But maybe the 
one back from the cab is where the blind spot is, I don't know. So if you're sat there and you read it, then if you don't crash, you're in his blind spot. Just a thought. See, but I, sorry. No, I've seen lots of debates on um, social media about them. Some people saying that motorhomes must have them. Some people say that motorhomes mustn't have them. But we've not seen any French motorhome with them on them. We've only seen one motorhome with them on and we've seen quite a few motorhomes now. Yeah. So I would say they don't need them. Um, but we don't know for definite. It's just our assumption from what we've picked up in the three days that we've been in France now. Yeah. And I just, I don't know with the wagons, why they've got a big one on the back. So when you're behind, you can read that when you're behind. That says, caution blind spots or you know well to be fair effect. shouldn't you realize anyway that yeah. a vehicle that test. has got a blind spot yeah. it's a bit like the label that you have on clothes that says do not iron whilst wearing or the or the note on the cup of coffee from mcdonald's that says this is very hot caution very hot or whatever it is maybe maybe that's the world we're living in now but anyway we're here three days in We've seen no French motorhomes with the Angles Mall stickers and the only motorhome we've seen with one on was an English one. Make of that what you will. We haven't got them on Helga. If we get pulled and fined, we'll let you know. <laughs> Watch this space. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, Slaw's heading south. Towards the sun. Oh, look at that. Nice. When we left the campsite this morning, we made sure that we made use of all the facilities because we paid for them. So we dropped the grey waste, emptied the black and filled up with water. Uh, because we don't know where we're going to be stopping tonight. We know roughly where we're heading to but we don't know whether it's going to be a campsite or an air. So we need to, to use all the facilities on the campsite which we have done. Could be anywhere. So I put that in, sounded good. What? My little joke. Anywhere. Anywhere. Eh. Where? Eh. <laughs> oh god, it's good if you know what you're on about, isn't it? <laughs> you lot know. I'm sure you don't. Swam up for you. Good morning America, how are ya? I say, Don't you know me? I'm your native son. The city of New Orleans. I'll be gone 500 miles and the day is done. And then we're gonna go up through the mountains and drop down towards uh, Mio's still in the mountains. Drop down towards the coast, let's say. But we're still quite a way off. The highest point as we go through um, is higher than Mount Snowden. So it is quite cool up there sometimes. Yeah. But this is great. This is a view that we absolutely love. We've been coming down this motorway now. Um, oh gosh. First time was 97, we reckon, weren't we? Yeah. Oh yeah, this is a great view. We love this view. Hope you're enjoying it too. This could be expensive, Mrs. Slaw. It could. Ooh, I took my mirror out then. Eh? Stop. I'll get to 
lite smack i bunnen. Oh, well, take it in there. I'm telling you what it is. 30. 30 euros. <laughs> Boom cam. Yeah, I've put 30 in, you're not having any more. <laughs> so, that's the payage now, then. Is it slow? Yes, for today, I think. We're on the free motorway now through the mountains. It's still the A71. Uh, but we don't have to pay, because it's... Well, like no, it's, it's A71 through this bit, and then it's the A75 oh, the A75, through the mountains. Yeah. yeah. Like, no, you don't have to pay through that bit. Like the Big Dipper. Time. Food time. That was just a you know, two hour stint. Yeah. Like that. What we got now? 29 degrees that clock. And we've got aircon on, so it's going to be a little bit warm in a minute when we turn that off. It is. Right, this is slow. Foodie time. Food. So this is a nice little air, as you can see. Toilet's over there. I think Billy's going to the toilet or he's just paddying. And uh, yeah, it's warm. a long climb we're going to help us down to 50 mile an hour I took a bit of finding so we can get in. Mind you, there's a few places here, so I think we'll be okay. Big tip. That looks slow. 
Okay. Oh. It's like newish one. How come that's like new? Mm -hmm. I don't know unless is that the one that people have kept borrowing? I think we've got the best available. Oh, definitely. I can see, I can see a river from here. I mean, that one down up front is just superb, isn't it? Change sunshine. Someone's got the tent on it. Oh, that one there? Yeah. Yeah, but according to this chap, uh, midges down there are quite bad. I bet. Ah. Mm -hmm. So we've got Mrs. Slaw's bought some Koenig's Koenig's beer. Koenig's beer. Yeah. It's wet. It's alright. And it does taste like beer. It's okay. Four percent. Well I'm not driving Mrs. Slaw. You told me to get some four percent of four point five. You don't well, listen to so what I tell you. In that little shop Doesn't today. listen. That's what happens. So, Slaw set it up. Well, Mrs. Slaw chilled. Well, she checked us in. Oh, yeah, she checked us in. She walked down there with dogs, checked us in. Slaw put awning up, got all the chairs out, hooked electric up. And all the interior as well. Yeah, put it on chocks. Chop, chopped it. I've done all the interior as well. It's even then, isn't it? Just shut up, get a beer. Beautiful. For years we've gone past Neo. Well, for years we came through Neo until we built the viaduct. Mm. But never stayed. And it always looked really nice in the bottom. So we finally made it. We're here. Mm. It seems a very nice little campsite. And it is small, but it's a, a very small campsite. Probably one of the smallest ones we've been on for a long time. Um, but yeah, all looks good. So I'm going to have our tea and uh, hopefully get day two's vlog on because today is day three. <laughs> but manana, manana. We decided we like it so much we're actually going to stay tomorrow night here as well and have a, a rest day tomorrow because we've done a lot of driving so far without having much rest. Yep, rest time. And how much tonight, Mrs. Slaw? Four. It's a bargain. Twelve euros a night. Because we've used the Axi card, which we'll tell you more about later. We'll show you the book and tell you about it. Get in. But it's well worth doing if you're travelling out of season. You won't have seen, but when we came, there were loads of paragliders there. I think they may have done by the time we've finished our tea, but I would imagine they'll be here tomorrow. Mm -hmm. so we'll, uh, we'll get Mrs. Slop on. <laughs> Not me. Evening. Mrs. Slaw's homemade map. If you've been with us on this journey so far, you'll know that we're going from Calais all the way down through France. To Port Grimaud on the Bay of Saint Tropez. Today we started out at Amboise on the Loire Valley and we've gone down through Viaison, Bourges, Clermont-Ferrand, Saint-Fleur and we are now at Mio. Today's journey has been 342 miles and it's taken us six hours. 
We've also done a lot of payage today because we needed to, to get quite a way down. Today was a, a long slog and the total tolls today was 44 euros 40 cents. But here we are in Mio. Um, we're going to stay for two nights. We're on the campsite uh, Miserable and it's uh, 12 euros a night using the Axi card and we'll tell you more about Axi and the benefits tomorrow. So, thanks for sticking with us on this journey. I think it might be time to go to the Barslow. Sounds good to me. A votre santé. This is our first uh, drink in a French bar, mm -hmm. restaurant, cafe. Whatever it is. It is. Pell Fort. Pell Fort. Pell Fort. And I've got Anne Rose. Quelle surprise. <laughs> nice. What's nice in French? Oh, C'est magnifique. C'est magnifique. I just wonder what they're doing, they cover it pool. Very pleasant stuff. Very mm. pleasant. Mm. If I could, if I had my glasses and I could tell you what temperature is, it does have it on my watch. Um, but, but I can't see it. So. It's warm. It's got to be. It's got to be twenty at yeah. least. Maybe, maybe a bit more. And it's half eight. And it's half eight. So. Uh, no, I'm not doing it on camera. 